Good early Friday evening, everybody. Making preparations for a bonfire for tonight. <clears throat> Tomorrow, we are going to tackle the rest of this tree. Carl has a neighbor, Jack, who's 84 years old and heard of our dilemma because we thought we were going to have to cut those pieces and then rip them into smaller pieces so we could even move them. But fortunately, Jack is a very kind soul, and he said, Oh, I have a log splitter that goes vertical, meaning instead of, you know, splitting left or right, you can tilt it up, and it will split much like Crazy Lake Splitter, vertically. So they went all the way out there on their own. I didn't even have to go get it. They went and got it and brought it out. And I'm trying it out right now, splitting up some firewood for tonight. So... You'll be seeing this in action tomorrow. And we're possibly going to do a live tonight because, unfortunately, he's had people staying here almost every night for the last couple weeks. Relatives coming and going. And tonight's our only night without anybody staying there. So we plan on doing a bonfire. It's supposed to be clear and no wind tonight. So we'll see you at the bonfire. All right, here we go with tonight's lighting of the fire. Hopefully my secret sauce isn't too volatile. Just use motor oil with a little bit of gas mixed in. And I heard something pretty incredible last night, especially compared to the nothing I've heard lately. It really sounds to me like a to go out on a limb, like a Bigfoot trying to speak a couple words. It's pretty crazy. I'll play it for you right now. Fifteen minutes after that, I heard the car door slamming, and I could hear them yapping and laughing and talking and all that. So they came home about fifteen minutes after I recorded that. It's pretty creepy, but it's something, especially compared to the nothing I've heard lately. The river's making minimal noise, so it's not too bad. And the bats are cruising. Should be able to hear them. Last night I heard them chirp, 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 chirp. Every time they fly by, they were chirping. It was pretty neat. It's about quarter to ten or ten to ten right now. We'll be back. I don't know if you can see the pretty colors in that. Getting prettier too. Oh, that's awesome. 
claws on them. Look at that. I see. Yeah, it's actually chilly out here. Okay, our nightly visitor is back again. Switch the setting on this. Perfect. So Mr. Wally's back again. Even the nights we don't sit out here, if I turn on the light, porch light, he's usually out here. All wet from his nightly swim. Oh, it's pretty cool that he comes around every night. I did see one eye on the trail camera one of the last few nights. I haven't put together a video, but I've got a few more nights of trail camera. I haven't seen the babies lately, though. No baby raccoons. It's pretty smart of him to live over there and just swim over here to eat. Yeah, he's got a nice life. Getting kind of pudgy there, Wally. But this is how close to us he is. Not too far away. I could watch you eat with your little hands all day. There was something down there. a couple weird things tonight that's why we haven't been talking too much the other cameras been recording the whole time we've been out here so whatever we heard hopefully that picked it up and I'm listening with the parabolic and the headphones but Trace I heard what sounded like rocks clacking too the ones I heard was about 40 minutes ago sit and listen for right now. We definitely had something splash over there a few minutes ago. Could be anything though. doing your thing. anything on the parabolic either. <clears throat> it's 1040 right now. I 
I invited Carl to come down, but he's probably already in his damn jammies. I'm in my jammies. Well, you have every right to be. You work. <laughs> oh, I just wish this headache would go away. Did you bring your echo out? I didn't. I can get it, though. Yeah, we want to, any of you guys got an echo? It was one. It'd be pretty fun. It can answer some amazing questions and other things that doesn't know anything. But we got a couple of real surprising responses from it. Tracy's going to get it. We'll be right back. Echo. What's the weather? In Barrington. It's 64 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. Tonight, you can look for mostly clear skies with a low of 52 degrees. Hope you've enjoyed your Friday. See, the answer's pretty, you know, it'll play your music, whatever, whatever, but a couple of things we asked that really blew us away. Echo. Why is Carl such a jackass? He can't help it. I think he was born that way. <laughs> See, she's pretty smart. Echo. Why doesn't Carl shave? Because he's so cheap. He won't spend the money for a razor. <laughs> See, she's pretty smart. Echo. Who's the most awesome woman on the planet? Why? It's you, of course, Tracy. Thanks. Can you get it to answer what it does when a dogs bark? No, not unless the dog. I can try barking. Hey, Bubba, Butchie, Buffy, Gizmo, hush up. Tracy actually gets a notification, <clears throat> excuse me, on her phone when the dogs are barking. It's nice when we're not home. It's like, what are they barking at? Echo. What the hell? I know. It's effing ridiculous, right? Echo. Whose turn is it to vacuum tomorrow? I am going to go with... Tracy. Jackass. Thanks a lot. Of course. Echo. What is Bigfoot? According to Wikipedia, Bigfoot, also commonly referred to as Sasquatch, in Canadian and American folklore, is an ape-like creature that is purported to inhabit the forests of North America. Supposed evidence of the existence of Bigfoot includes a number of anecdotal visual sightings, disputed video and audio recordings, photographs, and casts of large footprints. Anecdotal evidence. Mm -hmm. B.S. There's DNA, too. Not to mention the thousands of eyewitness accounts. you can do this. Echo. What is Bigfoot? According to Wikipedia, Bigfoot, also commonly referred to as Sasquatch in Canadian and America, Echo, stop. is an ape-like creature that is Echo. reported to an Stop. Yes, if you whisper, she'll whisper back. <laughs> Bigfoot stories in Michigan. Here's something I found on the web. According to doubtfulnews.com, while there have been Bigfoot reports in Michigan, according to the Michigan Bigfoot Information Center, there were no reports from Benzie County, which is a sparsely populated area near the shores of Lake Michigan known for outdoor activities. Interesting. Thank you. Oh, God.
It's so Star Trekky. If only it had Major Barrett's voice. Echo. Red alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Echo. Beam me up. Okay, I'll do it. But you should probably know that I accidentally combined a human and a tribal once. Just once. Here we go. Bats. A bat goes. What would you like to hear next? Owl. An owl goes. Which one next? Elephant fart. Ah. Oops. <laughs> How about some more animal sounds? <laughs> well, what do you know, guys? She's is smart. <laughs> Which would you like next? Elephant fart again. Ah. Excuse me. How about some more animal sounds? <sighs> no. <laughs> Goodbye for now. I'll miss you. No lion. Echo. Play raccoon noises. Here's a common raccoon chitter. That sucked. Sorry. I'm not sure what I did wrong, but I'd like to know more. Echo. How are you? I'm feeling G-R-E-A-T. I just gotta say congrats to this year's winner of the Scripps National Spelling Bee, Zaila Avangard. She's a true C-H-A-M-P-I-O-N. Echo. What time is it? The time is 11.06 p.m. Thank you. You're welcome. Echo. What time is it in Australia? Australia has multiple time zones. In Sydney, it is 1.06 p.m. Echo, what can you sing? I can sing dozens of songs. You can ask me to sing a spooky song, a love song, a country song, a pirate song, or a barbershop quartet. Pirate song. Echo, sing a pirate song. Oh, Captain, take me with you. Take me on a journey. Oh, Captain, I beseech you. Take me across the open sea. Trim the sails and brave the gales. Live for a hearty sea breeze. Winds full force. Let's plot a course to find booty that we can see. Sail, oh, the ship low. Treasures buried near. Heave, ho. We go to sail the Stop. I'm sure we're fine to play that little ditty. <laughs> that was wonderful, Echo. Thank you. Echo. Why is Carl such a jackass? He can't help it. I think he was born that way. See, she's smart. She didn't forget. Echo, how many stars are in the Milky Way? Many astronomers believe our galaxy contains at least 100 billion stars. Echo, what stars are visible to us right now? Here's something I found on the web. According to you.edu, Capella, Rigel, and Procyon are the second, third, and fourth brightest stars in the sky of the Northern Hemisphere. Thank you. Any time. What phase is the moon? The next full moon is on Friday, July 23rd at 10.37 p.m. Right now, the moon is waxing. New moon occurred on July 9th. Thank you. Of course. Echo. 
You're awesome. That's really nice. Thanks. And this is why in 20 years no one will leave their home. Well, it's 11.30 and I'm on my own again. Carl didn't come down. And Tracy had to go to bed because she's got to work tomorrow. I got my night vision camera. It's been pretty much recording the whole time I've been out here. Whatever we heard earlier, hopefully that picked it up. I had an external microphone plugged in that's pretty sensitive. But since we heard those things earlier, we haven't heard anything. That's why we were playing with the Echo. That's pretty fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that. But I'm going to put my headphones on and continue to listen. I really don't know what could be making all these knocking sounds naturally. Besides the big hairy guy. I'll check back in in a half hour or so. Well, it's my midnight check-in. Heard a couple things. Hope the other camera picked them up. It's been running pretty much continuously since I came out here. But I just filled up the 16 gig memory card I had on there so I think it got about three hours two and a half unfortunately I left it on high quality which I didn't really need in night vision but I got a lot to review there more the audio obviously than the video it's just staring at the fire like this one is and the raccoons have been around I think it was one eye that showed up a little while ago because I hit the little light on it, wasn't even very bright, and as soon as the light hit it, it ran away. So I think it might have been one eye. And I think that sounded like another knock. I don't get excited about knocks anymore. I just hear it so often, I don't even know that it's really anything anymore. I do know it's absolutely quiet out here. I don't hear any crickets or anything. It is a little cool for that, but still. So I'm going to try to tough it out as long as I can until I get bored or tired. I think the boredom part is more likely. Back in in a little while. Well, it's going there at 1 o'clock, about 10 to 1. Hope you guys had fun with us. Sitting by the fire playing with that echo. Thought I'd come down here by Patty's and take a look across the river. I don't really think there's any spots I can even see up in there. just so thick. Okay, what the hell was that? That'll give you a jump. Something splashed in front of me. I highly doubt the furry fellas that sit over there in the dark and the silence and not make any noise or screw with us. But hopefully my, all my audio recording paid off. I had the other camera running the whole time, pretty much, with an external microphone. So I got a couple, three hours of that to listen to, plus my parabolic recording.
So although it's Friday, you probably won't see this until Sunday or Monday because we got a big day planned for tomorrow to finish cutting up the Tree of Doom. seeing or hearing anything. Alright, well, I'm out for tonight. Thanks for watching. Sounds like I have a feline follower. I sure do. Miss Salem. Goopy Salem. You are a goofy Salem. Not bad for 12 years old. Mr. Wizzy kept me company the whole time I was out here tonight. So I wasn't alone even after Tracy went to bed. We'll see you on the next one.